So we just finished setting up the electric fence for the sheep at the home farm and we are about to let them outside. It's the first time they'll be outside and we're pretty excited about it. So the electric fence runs directly up to the barn door. This way they can come and go as they please from inside or outside. At nighttime, we're gonna lock them up in the barn so they won't be able to be outside just so that they are protected from any kind of predator. <laughs> We've started building a pasture area where we're going to have some lambs that we feel are going to do better outside and we've built a fence. We're going to finish it this afternoon and let the animals out but we just wanted to show you what we have. We have the T-bar posts and between each one because this was a pasture for the cattle last year but they're not going to come out here this year so I've got this temporary fence post which has these that are designed to put the fence wire the electric fence wire this one's a, a fence rope fence and it has a you we've decided to run it on the first uh, section here Reason being is that there's different sizes of lambs and we wanted to make sure that the electric fence was as low to the ground based on their height and that uh, will train the lamb to not go to the fence. And if it's if I skipped this one and went to this one, it may be too high and then the lamb, or if it's very small, it can go right underneath and it will not be impacted by the fence. We want to make sure that the fence will keep the animals inside, so inside the pasture. So we have four strands of wire uh, for starters. And if, if it's decided that some people take the first one off once the lambs have been trained, but uh, we've got four strands strung, so we'll probably just leave it as is. Got the cattle just on the other side of the fence. Which They'll only be there for a couple more weeks and then they'll be going to the greener pastures. Thanks, Leah. You're welcome. We got Leah helping with the lamb pasture fence. Yeah. And we have the a few cows in the barn here watching. We got a bit of an audience today. We got a few loose chickens again today, standing by, as well as the lambs. And over here we have we have the team that's ready to go to the great outdoors. Are you ready, girls? Girls and boys, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's take a look. Come on. Want to come outside? Me? You've got the electric fencer located up at the barn uh, because the sheep fence, it, it connects to the cattle fence and that's how it, we're providing the power to electrify the fence. And with that, we will keep the sheep inside the pasture rather than running all over the yard. Okay, so with this electric fence, we wanna make sure that we got power and electricity. So this here is an electric fence tester. I'm gonna stick this in the ground and I'm gonna attach this to one of the wires and hope for the best. There's no no shock on this. That's not gonna work. How about over here? No, nope. there's no shock. Sensor here. See it's reading 3.2, 3.3. Three point two, four point eight on top, which is bizarre. Three point really 
it really should be really should be the same top and bottom because it's all feeding from one to the next so we got a one circuit we've got to uh, revisit the power source okay so we've just retested the fence and we got a shock level of 5.6 and we figured that that's pretty adequate for these little lambs so we're gonna give it a shot that's a beautiful sight outside on a pasture with an electric fence.